Hello friends, welcome here at TNV Academy. In this session, we will understand the requirement of clause 6.4.3 of ISO 19011-2018 that is conducting opening meeting. Now, we will tell the outcome of this subclause. This subclause enables the auditor to understand the requirement of clause 6.4.3 that is conducting opening meeting. After understanding this clause, auditor can conduct the opening meeting and what agenda points auditor have to address in the opening meeting. Now, we will discuss the small introduction of this subclause. In this subclause 6.4.3, that is, conducting the opening meeting audit, we will discuss the opening meeting agenda points and auditor and auditee conducts opening meeting in the starting of audit and in the opening meeting auditor and auditee introduce each other and discuss the objective of audit and also discuss the audit plan in the opening meeting. Let us talk about the requirement of the clause of a standard. The purpose of the opening meeting is to point 1. Confirm the agreement of all participants. For example, Auditee, audit team to the audit plan. Point two, introduce the audit team and their roles. Point three, ensure that all planned audit activities can be performed. An opening meeting should be held with the auditee's management and, where appropriate, those responsible for the functions or processes to be audited. During the meeting, an opportunity to ask questions should be provided. The degree of detail should be consistent with the familiarity of the auditee with the audit process. In many instances, for example, internal audits in a small organization, the opening meeting may simply consist of communicating that an audit is being conducted and explaining the nature of the audit. For other audit situations, the meeting may be formal and records of attendance should be retained. The meeting should be chaired by the audit team leader. Introduction of the following should be considered as appropriate. Other participants including observers and guides, interpreters and outline of their roles. The audit methods to manage risk to the organization which may result from the presence of the audit team members. Confirmation of the following items should be considered as appropriate. The audit objectives, scope and criteria. The audit plan and other relevant arrangements with the auditee, such as the date and time for the closing meeting. Any interim meeting between the audit team and the auditee's management and any changes needed. Formal communication channels between the audit team and the auditee. The language to be used during the audit. The auditee being kept informed of audit process during the audit. The availability of the resources and facilities needed by the audit team. Matters relating to confidentiality and information security. Relevant access health and safety, security, emergency and other arrangements for the audit team. Activities on site that can impact the conduct of the audit. The presentation of information on the following items should be considered as appropriate. The method of reporting audit findings including criteria for grading, if any. Conditions under which the audit may be terminated. How to deal with possible findings during the audit. Any system for feedback from the auditee on the findings or conclusions of the audit including complaints or appeals. Now, let's discuss what clause requirement says. The objective and intent of the opening meeting is to First, confirmation of all agreements between the audit client audit team and certification body the audit plan. Second, introduction of audit team leaders 
and audit team members and their roles. Third, ensure that all the planned audit activities can be performed properly as per the decided time and duration in the audit plan. The opening meeting should be conducted between the audit team and client management employees. Those are responsible for the organization function and processes to be audited. During the opening meeting, audit team also gives chances to the management employees to ask the question. The amount and range of details and informations will be familiarity of the audit client with the audit process. Examples like opening meeting conducted in internal audit in a small organization to communicate that audit is being conducted by internal auditors and defining the nature of the audit. For other audits, opening meeting may be in the formal way and records of attendance will be taken and meeting will be chaired by the audit team leader that may be lead auditor. In the opening meeting, the introduction of the following members should be given as other participants including the observer, interpreters and guides appointed by the audit client and audit team leader. We'll discuss the methods of audits such as inquiry, observation and examination or inspection of evidences to handle the risk to the organization which may result from the presence of the audit team members. The confirmation of the following things should be considered as the audit scope, objectives and criteria of the audit. The audit plan in the brief including the processes to be audited. Who will audit it? Should be team leader or technical expert and what will be time duration of that particular process and department. Audit and the responsible need to be present at that time at the relevant location and other relevant arrangements of the auditee such as date and time for the lunch break and closing meeting. The formal communication mode will be decided and communicated between audit client representatives and audit team. The language for communication during the audit. It may be English because most of the countries are using the English language and they are understood for the English language. The process of audit will be communicated to client. The availability of the resources such as PPE kit and facilities which are needed for the audit will be communicated to audit client in the opening meeting. Matters will be discussed relating to the confidentiality and information security. The permissions, health and safety, security, emergency arrangements for the audit team members. Maybe there are some activities and work at on-site that can also impact the conduct of the audit like there are some machinery that are making excessive noise and pollution that can impact the audit of client. The audit team and auditee may also consider the presentation of information of the following evidences. The method of reporting of audit findings like in the audit report the findings will be addressed and forms for presenting the findings that is auditor finding action report that is AFAR form and here is a sample for AFAR form. Conditions on which the audit will be stopped and cancelled and there are several reasons which can stop the audit like lack of complete implementation of system, non-cooperation by auditee, sudden strike, lockout declared on the day of audit, national calamities and industrial disasters. How to deal with possible findings during the audit? At the opening meeting, the system and processes will be communicated to client management representative for giving the feedback on the findings including the complaints and appeals against the audit team. Now, we will discuss in short the agenda for the conducting opening meeting. Give an expression of thanks to the auditee 
for choosing ABC Private Limited for certification of management system. Request attendees to record their attendance. Remind timeline to close opening meeting in 15 to 30 minutes. Request to give brief introduction with brief roles, participants, observers, guides, and translators. Confirmation of the audit objectives. Assessment for ISO 9001, 14001, 45001, etc. Scope and criteria. Changes in documents packed to the application. Confirmation of formal communication channels between the audit team and the auditee. Identify the facilitators. Confirmation of the language to be used during the audit. Confirmation of matters relating to confidentiality and information security. NC may be against a clause of the standard. That is ISO, ISO 9001, 14001, 45001, etc. It's not against any person or department. Method of reporting audit findings and grading. Major, minor and observation. Time span for corrective action. Minor 15 days, major 30 days. Report time. Findings will be discussed at closing meeting and report will be given within two working days. Now, let's take an example how to write non-conformities against clause 6.4.3 of the ISO 1911-2018 that is conducting opening meeting. Standard requirement. The purpose of the opening meeting is to point 1. Confirm the agreement of all participants, for example, auditee, audit team, to the audit plan. Point 2. Introduce the audit team and their roles. Point 3. Ensure that all planned audit activities can be performed. An opening meeting should be held with the auditee's management and, where appropriate, those responsible for the functions or processes to be audited. During the meeting, an opportunity to ask questions should be provided. The degree of details should be consistent with the familiarity of the auditee with the audit process. In many instances, for example, internal audits in a small organization, the opening meeting may simply consist of communicating that an audit is being conducted and explaining the nature of the audit. Confirmation of the following items should be considered as appropriate. The presentation of information on the following items should be considered as appropriate. The method of reporting audit findings including criteria for grading, if any. Conditions under which the audit may be terminated. How to deal with possible findings during the audit. Any system for feedback from the auditee on the findings or conclusions of the audit, including complaints or appeals. Non-conformity evidence. During the report review, it was found that the audit objectives, scope and criteria and system for filling the complaints against the audit team is not discussed with the client. Dear friends, we have now come to the conclusion of this training session. See you soon with an exciting new topic. Till then, goodbye.